Hi everyone, this is Mizan from Doric. In this video, I'm going to show you how to send form data from Doric to any other platform using Zapier. So here I have a subscription form in Doric website builder. Also, I have my Zapier account logged in and also your table. So if you don't know how to add a new subscri subscription form, just I'm going to show you the add new element and click on subscription form. So here it is, and it's, I'm gonna add a new field uh, called first name. So here is our first name and email address. And from form configuration, we are gonna select Zapier. So we have to connect uh, to Zapier using Zapier webhook. So how to get webhook URL, just come back to Zapier, make a new Zap, and search for webhook. And Make sure you select the webhooks by Zapier, not any other webhooks. Click here. Also from the drop down, select catch hook and select continue. And there it is, custom webhook URL. We have to copy this URL and paste here. So there it is. And to test our connection, if it's connected with Zapier or not, click here. And we'll send some test, test data to Zapier, it's sent come back to Zapier and click continue and test trigger you see we have received email address first name and last name this three field we send from our subscription form element so click continue now we are going to select your table here it is your table is in first and after selecting your table we are going to select an action and we are going to create a new record so click continue and your table account my your table account all is already connected with zapier if it's not please connect your your table account first to zapier and continue so there is a base my base name is doric test so i'm going to search here doric test there it is i'm going to select my base also my tab table name is doric subscriber and i'm going to select doric subscriber here also also there, there it is there's two fields email and first name we are gonna select the email for our email column also the first name first name for the first name column and continue and test test and continue i'll just uh, i'm not going to review it just i'm going to test and continue the test new record was sent to your table there it is your email address and first name is here and turn on the zap make sure you turn on the zap right, it's on now come back to zapier uh, if you want to uh, give any custom success message you want to uh, write here Thanks for subscribing that's it okay now we are gonna like uh, test the form where we have to publish the website so here it is project name Zapier test example Zapier uh, test dot dotting to dio publish successfully yes site is successfully published Zapier test dot dotting to dio we are gonna here yeah, so I'm going to add a new email and first name and send it to uh, your table using the peer so the email address test at example.com my name is chando subscribe yeah thank you for subscribing and we are going to check it here here it is test at example.com chando is here and like this you can connect to any application and using zapier and you can save the data to any third party application from our subscription form and contact form and here it is uh, from the subscription form i'm going to show how to send from contact form to it is contact form select zapier the process is same as subscription form you have to paste the uh, webhook url and test it and then connect Hope it will help. Thank you so much.